Mr. Joyner, six years of my life, I've been a Judeo-Christian. I've done my best. I, I believe. I fear God. I'm awed by God. I've done my best not to lie to you still. I have been my brother's keeper. For 18 years, I was in love with my wife more than I could ever know. The last seven years, I got to holding her up and say, Lord, thank you for what you have gave me. Instead of holding my soul up to my Savior and saying, look what I have for you, Lord. December the 7th, I got an email from a young man and I asked my wife, I said, who is this? And she said, I do not know. So I deleted it. December the 8th, I got this, another email from this man, and I opened it up on our personal email at my home. And it said, my sweet little Janelle, I cannot wait to be with you again. And I printed it out, and I took it up to my wife, and I asked her, I said, Janelle, what does this mean? And she looked at me and said, we've been blanking and blanking for a long time. And why won't you die? My heart was broke. And I cried for three or four days. And I begged her, I said, please tell him not to send emails to my home. To our home. Please do not. And she turned to me and said, I'll do anybody I want to when I want to, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. And I cried for more days. And I, I quit looking at the email. So they started phone tagging in front of me. And she'd look at me and say, why won't you die? This went on for three or four days. I could not stand it. I would not go in the house. I said, I'll give you anything you want, anything. We will sell the place, I'll give you half. We'll put it on fast track, I will give you a divorce. And she looked at me and she said, why won't you die? I said, Janelle, that is, I cannot do that. We went on another three or four days, I said, I will give you anything you want. She got up and looked outside and she said, I want this whole place for 17 years. I have been your servant. I never loved you. What a little bit of heart I had was killed more. Was killed more. I, I went insane. Still insane. We started to sell. Going to sell everything off so I could give her half of whatever she wanted. The day of the sale, she had her boyfriend come out there and follow me around the 16th of January, follow me around every step of my place. I always hard for her to supply for us. The 17th, she come in from work and she sat down and she said, since you refuse to die, me and John is going to drag you out tonight of your bed and hold you down on the ground until you die. No one will know the difference or care. And in anger, I snatched up the gun and it went off. And I threw the gun on the couch and I grabbed her head and I screamed, Oh my God. And I watched her eyes roll back at her last breath. If she don't know, she got what she wanted because I died right then. I died right then. <laughs> Forgive me, God. That's all I got to say, Your Honor. That's it. Okay. Victor Murchison, if we should speak. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Craig Morrissey would speak on behalf of the victim. Mm -hmm. 